Well, I finished designing uh, my custom uh, Bosch Colt mount. Um, I had to do this because I use inch long bits from Precise Bits and I can't use this attachment on there because my bits don't come out for the, far enough out of this hole, out of the uh, base. So I had to uh, do this because what this is going to allow me to do now, after I tighten it down and everything, it'll allow me to get more out of my bit and then I can mount a vacuum boot right on the bottom here. I'll design that next. But that's my Bosch Colt uh, upgrade. I'm going to make this out of aluminum next. This was just prototype out of uh, HTP. So the next one will be aluminum, but I'm going to try it out on this one. So now I can lower and raise it as much as I want and have as much clearance here I need. So CNC Mogul Bosch Colt spindle mount. There so I put a level on here. So my table is level because I already, I already leveled my table before I put the router on it. Because um, I'm actually using melamine here for my whole workspace on my table. So that's already level. But here, here's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this upgrade. Um, so you can see how close my level is here. Let me just wipe that off. You can see it's the, route, the spindle's level now in the mount. See that? Can't balance it off the side there, but it's uh, pretty close and um, you know it's it's pretty stiff you know <clears throat> I don't get the flex like I did with the other mount because it would flex here because there was only one screw holding it so now with this mount on here it's nice and uh, nice and level as you can see there so Can see how much clearance I got. I don't even have the bit in yet. If I had the bit in there, it would clear a lot now. I mean, I could actually go up further up if I wanted, but I can adjust the mount to where I want my workspace because I don't work with stuff over two inches, anyways, in height. And uh, with this spoil board here, this MDF on top, I still. I'll still get three inches from my bit down, so a lot of clearance. And if I want to raise or lower, I just you know just loosen them up and just lower it. But um, I also thought about putting spacers in between here, but I don't think it needs it now. But the vacuum boot's going to go on the bottom. I was going to do aluminum, I think, but um, after putting this all on here, now it's so stiff. All I might do is just put a spacer between here, but it really doesn't need it. It's so, so stiff. It turned out really well. But, you know, my main concern was have, making sure my, my router was level. My Colt was level because before it was off. It was, you know, it was sagging that way. And this way it was hard. You couldn't adjust it at all because of the, the pins that went in the back. The pins kept it, but it really... It it really wasn't that good because it had a lot of it had a lot of flex going left and right here too. So now it doesn't have it. But um, so that's it. You know, just to show you, it's level. So pretty happy with it so far. Hey guys, I got my uh, my new spindle um, design installed here. I made it out of plastic. This is part two. I did the other video just to show you with the with the router off. Um, but I designed and made this out of HDP and it's like uh, 0.310 thickness. Um, it's attached with two screws on each side for the T slot or for the for the T nuts here, upper and lower. And um, the reason I had to do this is I could I can't use the st the stock setup. It's a good setup. It's a simple setup that Mike's designed really good, but. Um, couple issues I had is my bits are usually like an inch long because I use small precise bits with collets on them. So I had a problem with them clearing the bottom because they wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be able to clear this metal piece here, the slide in the back, and the back guard. So I couldn't even go over clamps. It's kind of 
kind of a trouble for me. And also because this mounts on with one screw, um, I was finding that my, my Colt is a little bit heavier than probably most, but it, it was sagging down like this a little bit. So um, by making this mount, I, uh, I benefit a few ways. Um, it's nice and sturdy. It's, it's really sturdy. It's level. If you look at it level from the front and the side now, because before I was getting a sag feel to it. Um, another thing is I'm righty, so I like having my Bosch Colt this way because I can get to the button back here and tighten with my right hand on the collet. So it, it's easier for me. Um, there's no flex in this, this mount at all. It's solid, more solid than it was. Um, I'm going to make this out of aluminum next. This was just my prototype just to get it fitted right and it turned out to be more solid than I thought it was going to be. And I also put some holes here on each corners because I'm going to make a dust boot that attaches right to it also. Um, so that's kind of nice. I'm going to do that next. But other than that, my CNC Mogul uh, Bosch Colt upgrade on my, uh, my router. Now I can get my smaller bits down here because what happened was when I was using this I couldn't clear my bits were barely clear and they were only coming out like a quarter inch and I needed to get the full inch out of the bit because I use uh, let me show you the bits I use I use these bits these are like crap it's not even an inch out it's maybe three quarters of an inch out so now, I'll be able to clear it a lot easier, with a lot more room. So, so this worked out pretty good. So like I said, it's attached with the two, two screws of nuts in the back, cap heads, and then there's a screw in the nut in the front here. And it's, uh, it's pretty solid, which is easy to adjust because you can move it in the mount. Now I don't get that flex like I did front or back. So it's more sturdier than the stock setup. And uh, it was inexpensive to do. I have another router over there that's uh, all aluminum and more commercial. So I usually cut all my parts on that. But I could easily cut this on this machine if I wanted. But my aluminum version, I'll cut it on the other one. So that's my uh, CNC Mogul Bosch Colt upgrade. Thanks, guys.